episode of Can Do Musos TV, we have David Segal and Groove On Up, Gino Oceano, Joe Hardy and Unit 287, the Mendenhall Experiment, plus much more. Hey, welcome to Candy Museum TV. This is our first show for 2019, and we've got a huge show in store for you. This is an ad special featuring all the artists that are playing on our NAND stage next Friday, the 25th of January, in California. Now, to kick this show off, we had Mark Offney from San Diego. Mark was born with no arms, and he played guitar with his feet. And that was his song, We Are the Same. Okay, next up we're going to Unit 287 from Orange County, which is right in Anaheim. And this is the song 400 bottles. 400 bottles. Yeah. 
Hall Experiment. You are from Candy Mises TV. Music has been with me my whole life. I was so addicted to music. But the doctor said I can never play an instrument because I have cerebral palsy. My left hand used to be completely paralyzed. When one finger would move, they all would move. There were a lot of bullies. Brandon would get kicked and pushed. He says, why God make me this way? And I said, well, he made you that way for a purpose. I was just different. I'd walk through the halls and people would throw books at me or kick me. I would be tormented. It wasn't until Corn that I started writing from my heart. Corn spoke to me. I felt like I wasn't alone. Monkey, the guitar player, had part of his finger cut off in an accident. I have all five of my fingers. Why can't I play the guitar? After three years, I was able to start moving one finger and then two fingers. Him learning to do more than this, what the doctor said, is incredible. I have to do this. The Mental Hall experiment is my experiment to see if I, the kid with cerebral palsy, can write a bunch of songs, form a band, and then take that band to a national level. The odds of making it in LA Slim to none. We play for the freaking bouncy house. What's next? Are we gonna play Chuck E. Cheese? It lit a fire in my soul to prove the entire world wrong. It was now or never. Kill this or go home. Nothing can hold him back from his dream. I see myself wanting to do exactly what he's doing. I never thought I could do it until I met him. It meant all the world for me that the pain I endured, that this should help somebody. I'm gonna live my life as if my disability does not exist. It really is mine of what matters. My left hand used to be completely paralyzed from my cerebral palsy. But once I put a guitar in my hand, it changed my life. impaired but when I play bass the music kicks over in my body. We wanted more and needed peace. We fought the war to be set free. We don't control the current. Let it be what's the best of friends. Now we're enemies. You don't owe me no. You don't get it. You don't know me so. Forget it. You're not listening. You're not Ready. Took me to the end of the day.
my passions in life is to write lyrics and sing to express my feelings and frustrations with having a disability. Our love for each other, the passion for music, are bigger than our disability. Well, that was the Man in Holly Fairman from Los Angeles. We did on scene today. Okay, now, this is about our performance at the NAMM show 2019. And a couple of years ago, we did a performance with 12 musicians. And we all squeezed into a little rehearsal room the day before. And yeah, have a look at this. It's your party on the drum.
Hey, how you doing? It's David Ward from MusiciansOnTheRecord.com from Portland, Maine in the USA. So glad to be with you. And when I'm not playing drums, I am watching and listening to Can Do Musos, TV and radio. Check it out on CanDoMusos.com. Keep rocking. <laughs> Diagnosis of arthrogryposis. He fought back and learned how to play tennis. To be the next John McEnroe till his love for drums stole the show. Now he's on his way to being the best. David Siegel can fly like an eagle. He's gonna touch the sky. I say, David Siegel. Listen to me, people. That man has got to drive. You know he hung out with Buddy Rich at an early age, and he's got a pair of Buddy's drumsticks too. Now his life is jazz and rock and roll and playing from his soul. There ain't nothing he can't do. Jamie Siegel can fly like an eagle. He's gonna touch the sky. I said, David Siegel, listen to me, people. He's gonna touch the sky. He's gonna touch the sky. Yes, he is. Play it now. Carnegie Hall. And hey, that's not all. He's been featured in Sticks and Skins. He's a founder of Can Do Musos, inspiring other musical souls. He's stacking up the winds. Jamie Siegel can fly like an eagle. He's gonna touch the sky. I said, Jamie Siegel. Listen to me, people. He's gonna touch the sky. That man has got to drive. Here we go. David would like to thank Dom Famulera. Maria Monaco, Fred Klatz, Aldo Maza, Memo Acevedo, Jules Follett, Liberty DeVito, Johan Ortiz, and a huge thanks to his mom and dad. Let's not forget his drum gear endorsements, Regal Tip, Rim Riser, Grip Solutions, and Sabian. David is his name, perseverance is his game.
Well, that was a collaboration between David Segal and Groove On Up. And it was called Come Fly Like an Eagle. Okay, next up, this is me. I uh, played with a cover band a few years ago. And this is a cold diesel classic called Rising Sun. with Drum Talk TV and I want to urge all of you to get your daily dose of inspiration with Can Do Musos. What is Can Do Musos? Go to CanDoMusos.com and look them up on Facebook and see some of the most talented, extraordinary musicians you'll ever see. They're from all over the world. They have different physical challenges. Some people like to call them disabilities, but these folks have such great attitudes. They've been able to play past that and perform past and through their challenges and really create some exceptional, inspiring music. So check out CanDoMusos.com. Trust me, I'm a drummer. Well, just trust me. So Dean, tell us a story about the Rock Drummer Wanted ad. Okay, well, the incident of Drummer Wanted ad, uh... Finally found the guy's house and he was up a flight of stairs and 
parked my chair at the bottom of the stairs there and crawled up, knocked down the door, and the guy <laughs> looked out and didn't see nobody, but, but I was sitting on the ground, and so I said, hey, down here, I'm the drummer, and, and he looked at me like he had three heads or something, and, and <laughs> you're the guy, <laughs> Zimmer, um, rock drummer. I've been playing drums about 30 years at least. And you started with the full kit or you started with bongos? No, I just started playing on my legs and just moved on to the drum set. And Opened up for uh, Fog Hat, Eddie Money, uh, Paul Sticks, Paul Rogers, Kansas, and Thin Lizzy quite a few times. Dean drum styles are unique, and it partly developed from his unique limitations in what he can do, and it results in what is the tightest pattern on the drum heads that many drum pros have said they've ever seen. He hits the same spot on the head repeatedly, making a pattern like this tight on his snares and toms. And uh, it's just amazing to see him play because when he's playing, he can't just sit there and move his arms and legs like normal. He's a bouncing around, a bouncing around. And it's all part of the motion. And when you see him, you think, oh yeah, this guy's gonna try to play the drums. And then you see him and you go, huh? Oh my God, this guy's amazing. Have you always been in a wheelchair or is this something that happened later or is it from? Yes, it is from birth. I've always been in a wheelchair. I could walk some when I was younger with braces, but when I fell down, I I had a hard time getting up, and, you know, unless there was a chair around or something. So, so the chair just was a little better. He is not handicapped. He is different, and he has the most patience in the world, and he'll, he can do anything anyone else can do. It just takes him longer. Hey, this is... Cool. Dean Zimmer, the mean Dean drumming machine. Dean is a song drummer. He, when you play at Nancini's with the guys, you just play the groove and fill when it needed to be done. Filling into a new section, from a verse to a B section, or a B section to a chorus. You wouldn't just go crazy and put fills in the wrong places and showboat. You could have done that, but you, just like Ringo, and many of my favorite drummers, you chose to play the right parts to make the song work. He's really a musical drummer. Because a lot of people can play fast and can showboat, but being musical, Dean, that's something that you You've got great ears and you're just so musical. Play from the heart, man. Play from the heart, that's it. Play from the heart, yeah. Is that your secret? That's about all I ever knew. I mean, I, where I went to school, nobody played nothing. I, mean, I didn't even have a music class, you know. Usually, I'm playing the drums, I can leave. I, I 
get out of this chair and just kind of push it away. And so that's one, probably the best way I've found is to <laughs> step out of it somehow or try to leave all the physical stuff behind. Dean, that was fun, man. Was that a blast? Did his loud mic fall? Oh, it was perfect. You were so great, buddy. You groove. You groove. You're always right there, man. We switched gears a few times. We went to some Jimi Hendrix manic depression, hot for teacher, sing, sing, sing. Wow. Little Bonham. Not John Bonham, Billy Bonham. He lives down the street. Hi, everybody. I'm Rockwell Anderson here with... Mischievous Mel. And we are Rockwell On Scene Magazine and Radio. So, what we want to offer you is the best in all things music. From the music, from the bands, from the shenanigans, from what they do on stage to what they do on the road and all the ink in between, you can find everything in Rockwell On Scene Music Magazine. You can find us at rockwellmag.com and also our coverage at tattoo.com.
what some people may say Let the rain get them down And if I'm feeling specially content today It's that precipitation's got me feeling Well, that was Jim Sherry of the Faith Healers with I Love the Rain. And that was featuring Homero Chavez on drums. Okay, before that, we had a little mini documentary about drummer Dean Zimmer. Okay, next we have Tony Talmich. Tony speaks and sings with a voice box, and he also plays drums. And this is his version of Pearl Jam's Last Kiss. Well, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I've got to be good. So I can see my baby when I leave this world. We were out on a date in my daddy's car. We hadn't driven very far. There in the road, looking straight ahead. The car was stalled, the engine was dead I couldn't stop, so I swerved to the right I never forget the sound at night The crying tires, the busting glass The painful scream that I heard last Well, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me She's got to heaven, so I've got to be good So I can see my baby when I leave this world Well, when I woke up, the rain was pouring down There were people standing all around Something warm running in my eye But I found my baby somehow that night I raised her head and then she smiled and said Oh, me darling, for Our last kiss I found a love That I knew I would miss But now she's gone Even though I hold her tight I lost my love My life That night Well where oh where Can my baby be The Lord took her away from me She's gone to heaven So I've got to be good So I can see my baby When I leave this world Candy Musos will be performing at the 2019 Winter NAM show on the Arena Plaza stage on Friday the 25th of January at 10am at the Anaheim Convention Centre. For more information please visit www.nam.org. On the 30th of January Australian drummer Andrew Hewitt will be hosting an All Abilities Drum Circle at the Remo Recreational Music Centre in Valencia, California. The drum circle runs from 6.30 to 7.30. No drumming experience needed, just a desire to have some fun. For more information, please visit www.nam.org.
remormc.com.
Jane about Yana with his version of Daily Wonders Superstition. Okay, we've come to the end of another episode of Candy Beat on TV. I want to thank everybody for watching. And please leave us comments and tell us what you think of the show. Uh, and if you happen to be at the NAM show, please come down to the Arena Plaza stage at 10 a.m. on Friday, 25th of January. And check it out. We're playing for 40 minutes, so it's going to be a good set. And also, on Sunday, the 27th of January, we are performing. No, we're not performing. We are doing a panel discussion uh, as part of Tech Tracks at NAM at the Anaheim Hilton at 3 o'clock. More information about that on our website, candymusicals.com. And also, you can check out all of the artists that have been on this show at our website, candymusicals.com. So, until next month, please everyone stay safe. I'm finishing this all off with Kelly Kendall. He's a keyboard player from San Diego, a disabled veteran. And this is his song, Yeah. <laughs>